Hello and welcome to Julie and Friends. Our special podcast today is just me, no friends, just you and me. I have a special message because there are a lot of people in my life, including myself, um, who have been having some symptoms of ascension. And you might confuse them with just normal, like, I feel like crap syndrome, but it's real. This has to do with the increasing Schumann resonance in the environment, and that is the electromagnetic frequency from the core of the Earth is measured, and it's continually increasing, and this has been doing it since 1986, um, and it's scientific. You can look it up. So our bodies have to adjust to these frequencies, and it's not always pleasant. So I wanted to give people tips, and I also wanted to assure people that they're not going crazy, and just to give them some, you know, some feedback that there's things that happen that you just have to go with the flow, and it's not that you're doing something wrong or that you're ill. These are just symptoms that your body's adjusting to the increased frequencies on the earth, okay? So there are some specific symptoms fatigue, food cravings, hyper-emotional states, your heart racing, palpitations, anxiousness. You might be having trouble sleeping. You might be hypersensitive to criticism or other people. Um, some people just don't want to be around other people. You don't want to be in groups of people. Um, you might just want to take more naps because you're having trouble sleeping, you might be anxious, dizzy, tintinous, ringing in the ears. You might have a desire to move, to move from one side of the country to the other. Um, and you might want to make major life changes. Um, these are all things that are happening to a lot of people at the same time. So I just wanted to let you guys know about it and hopefully give you some insights so that you can deal with these symptoms and, and not feel like you're on a roller coaster. Okay, so the first thing you can do if you're feeling um, any of those symptoms is just recognize it. Honor your body and realize that this is something that's happening for you. It's not something to be scared of. It's, it's something that your body, your DNA is actually adjusting to the vibrations the increased frequency. And we're all electronic, yeah, not electronic, but we're all um, vibrational beings. We're not electronic. We're not robots, not yet anyway. <laughs> um, so anyway, we're vibrational beings and we're going to be affected by these increased frequencies coming from the center of the earth. And then also we're getting solar flares and you can track those online too. If you're interested, you just Google solar flares and that's some information you can look into if you're interested. Now, um, it's really important if you have any of these symptoms, you got to keep your water intake and you need to drink clean, fresh water. Try not to drink from plastic bottles. It's better to drink from plastic bottles and not drink at all, but just be aware there are little pieces of plastic that come from the bottle and go into your water and then your body has to process that. So you're giving your body more toxins if you drink consistently from those cheap plastic water bottles. Um, there are some that are a little better. Um, you can tell by the quality of the plastic. If it mushes really easily, you know, you're probably getting some of that plastic in your water. So um, try to try to get a good quality filter. Um, you have to spend a ton of money and, you know, just refill your water bottle. Keep your water up. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. You know, recognize if you need a nap, just 10 minutes sometimes. Just put on some waterfall music on your phone or, you know, just give yourself some self-care. Um, if you need a nap, take a nap. Nobody's going to, nobody's life is going to die unless you're like an ER doctor. Nobody's going to have a serious effect on their life if you take 10 minutes to yourself. Um, obviously, there are some things, you know, if you're a, you know, a bus driver, you obviously can't. Um, but that leads me into another fact. Um, 
if you are having these symptoms and they're too intense, just ask for the symptoms for your upgrade to be less. Just say, I need to do this. And please, whatever you um, pray to, whether it's God, source, you connect with your inner wisdom, just say, hey, can, can you please tone it down? I need to get something done. And that works because sometimes you just can't go and lay in a hammock or make a pot of iced tea and sit outside in the sun. But if you can make yourself a little iced tea or a lemonade and sit in the sun and enjoy some of the solar flares, that's a great way to get your upgrade. Um, there's exciting things coming, but we need to, we need to be aware and we need to have self care and try, try to ride this because if you can, if you can get through this with your grace and your um, self care, you can use these energies to be more happy, to be, be more present for the people you love. And that's powerful because we all want to live a life of love. We all want to have great relationships. So if you can use these energies and, and be, you know, aware of this happening, you can even follow this human resonance. It's, you know, there's, there's a Twitter account I used to follow. Um, I might get back on Twitter. I'm not sure. I got a little annoyed with Twitter. <laughs> People are using it as a dating app. I'm like, no, I don't want to date you. I just want to Twitter. I just want to be connected. So anyway, <laughs> I stopped my Twitter. So I, I might get back on because I did like following the, the Schumann resonance. Um, okay, so another thing you can do is go for a walk in nature. Trees help you deal with the excess frequencies. They really do. And trees send off healing energies. So if you want to get into any forest bathing, um, Ben Page has a great book he just came out with that talks about forest bathing. And there's studies that came out of Japan. There's huge health benefits to spending up to two hours in nature. So if you can do that on a regular basis, just sit and be in nature without your phone, that's going to help you not get sick. It might not heal something you have chronically, but it's going to prevent new illness. And that's that's some studies that they came out of Japan talking about um, the benefits of being in nature because they had a bunch of people in Japan who were dying from overwork and stress. So they had to do something because they couldn't lose all their workers. So sometimes bad situations give us good insight, which we're finding out a lot um, lately. We're getting more insight on our health, more insight on how to take care of ourselves, and um, more insight on people who want to promote wellness and people who just want to make money from us. So, you know, use your sovereignty. Like, listen to what sounds right to you. Listen to your body. If you eat something and you feel, feel terrible, you got to keep, you got to take advantage of those signals because that your body's telling you it's not a good idea. Um I don't think you'd ever eat a salad and say, oh, I probably shouldn't have eaten that. Just, just a hint. <laughs> um, yeah, so diet's huge. We, we're all getting higher vibration, and the food definitely has vibration to it. So you can eat fresh fruits, colorful foods. That's going to put you on your way. And then consider if you're eating meat, you know, was an animal maltreated because some of the manufacturing processes can be difficult on the animals. And I don't think that the animal's body that you eat is separated from the stress they might have gone through in the processing. Just an insight. I don't know if you know, if you know your meat processor that you can be sure that the animal is respected. I think that's pretty big. Um, we're all getting more aware of things that are happening to our, our environment and the ways it affects our body, and it's all connected. So it's all part of our raising our consciousness, right? So if you're feeling bad, you got to figure out what led to that. And it's not to be scared. It's just to do better. It's not to be shameful. It's just to learn because we're all on a path. We're all, we're all starting here somewhere. And please, again, always, if I say something that doesn't resonate with you, please just leave it. But take what, take what you could use and 
hopefully share it with people you love and we can help make this world a better place. In the meantime, enjoy your DNA upgrade. Um, Dolores Cannon is a great person to follow um, on YouTube. She has videos that explain her take on what's happening in the universe. And I think it's very exciting to look at it through the lens of Dolores. It inspires me and um, I'm inspired by all the people who are interested in living a different life full of love and joy. So I appreciate you listening and I hope you share my podcast and keep living your life of love. Keep having sensuality and wonderful times and be well. Take care. Mm -hmm.